each trip, presenting five new projects. We're presenting the sofa, the sofa, system, well, the sofa uh, shelving <coughs> system, which is a room divider as well, room screen, uh, a dining table or work table, benches and bar stools. In fact, that might be six. It's been a long day already. Yeah, maybe six. So we're very happy to be launching these things. They're things we've been working on for, the, for years, four years actually, the project. Um, and really it's our first major upholstery project, Vitra. Um, and yeah, we're very, the, the response has been really good. We're very, really, really happy with it. And it really carry on the theme of the Tipton chair, which was about movement. The sofa and obviously the bar stool, but also the shelving. Uh, facilitates movement, so they're also sort of almost like kinetic pieces as well as pieces of furniture, you know, there is a connection through to the Tipton and this idea of flexibility and movement. And in a way the dining table and the bench is a reference to the map table which started like as a bracket that enabled flexibility in the classroom or in the startup office. And we've taken on that language of using an intelligent fixing to give um, potential multi-use for the, um, the new pieces. How has it been? It's been really, it's been quite a privilege, you know, working with each of They have the most incredible technicians and engineers for us to work with, but also, of course, with Rolf, the Helm and Eckhart, Miser, we have a huge amount of, um, I guess, cerebral time thinking about what we're actually developing, rather than it just being an aesthetic thing. It's always a conversation about need, function, direction, uh, references, topologies, and um, I guess it's their support, as well as the actual physical support of, of the engineers and the technicians, that makes the project such fun. You know, they're, they're, the, our trips to Vitra are always enjoyable, we would look forward to them, and um, they really are a combination of intense drawing, making, and but mainly conversations. So yeah, it's been a great, it's a real privilege to work for them. Actually, the shelving presented huge technical challenges because, uh, you know, it's very simple, it looks very simple, but actually all the brackets move. So in fact, when you look at it, there's actually nothing holding the shelves up. And of course, Feature can't do anything that doesn't fulfill all the norms, you know, like the guidelines for use, for safety, for manufacturability. And of course, that makes things very complicated. And um, so overcoming those hurdles and still being able to produce things which offer, you know, a product in the way that we envisaged it at the beginning is um, a real challenge. But that, so the shelving was one big challenge. I guess the other problem, the other challenge is trying to deliver projects um, at a reasonable price point. And um, that's very, very difficult, you know, we're always in this situation of trying to produce the very most, you know, be the most generous we possibly can but at a price which is still attractive to people, to make it sensible. And um, with the Barstool project, that was really challenging because when you even start with the Barstool, the gas lift itself is quite expensive, you know, then the plate is quite expensive, and that's really before you get into the design, you know, the elements which you would see as signature to us and to be true. So that was really a point, that was a real challenge in terms of the eco e economics. Project. And that was really one of the driving forces of it, and that's why it took such a long time.